Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a great day today. I'm having a fabulous day today. You guys already know it's grandma, so that means it's kitchen talk time, okay? Guys, it's cold. It's chilly. I think fall got confused and think it's supposed to be winter time because this ain't no fall weather. It's like anything below 40 degrees, that's winter. And it's, it was like 39 degrees last night. And it still ain't warmed up enough for me. I'm getting ready to uh, run out here and take care of some errands real quick. Um, a couple of days away from Dad's birthday. So, happy birthday, Dad. So, I'm about to go and run some errands and try to figure out um, what to get him for his birthday. Because, guys, I told y'all before, this man is the hardest man to buy for he he never give you any suggestions at all you can ask him six months before his birthday dad what you want for your birthday your birthday be coming up in six months i don't know i don't care it don't matter whatever you want to get you don't have to get nothing it's, it's okay so it is just every year it's the same thing and he always kind of end it with he don't need anything he don't want anything but of course i'd be wanting to you know, just show show some love when I when I'm talking about showing some love. I be want to sprinkle a little extra on there, and you know, get him some materialistic stuff, some other stuff, and just make sure he has a good day. You know, I just be want him to have a really good day. It's a big birthday. Uh, Dad will be sixty six. He's been retired for a year now, so I just be wanting to um, to do something really nice for him. So I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna do yet. I'm still working on it. So I'm just gonna hang out with you guys for a few minutes and then I'm gonna get ready to get on out here and do what I need to do and get back home because it's cold, man. This is the kind of weather that when you wanna start, you know, making big pots, a big pot of soup or a big pot of chili. You know, you want something that's going to stick to your bones and warm you up and you can get your blanket and just stay in the house and not do anything. So this is the kind of weather. I mean, I like it. I'm glad summer is pretty much gone and it's, you know, cool down time. You can just kind of chill in the house, watch a good movie, you know, whatever you like, reality, reality TV or Netflix or Peacock or whatever it is. It's the best time of year to do that, but I'm not. I'm. I hate having to. I don't mind going outside in the winter time. It's the, the the extra layers of clothes you have to put on. It's just it gets to be too much because you got to put on a coat and you get out to the car. You get in the car and you got to take off your coat and you got to, you know, take all this stuff off because you want to be comfortable with the seat belt on and all this. Whew. It'd be too much. I'd be tired. <laughs> I'd be so tired. By the time I get to where I'm going or get in the car and get situated, I'd be like, you know what? I just don't want to go anywhere. I just want to go back in the house and just call it a day. But that's what Grandma got going on. Nothing in particular. Um, like I said, the main thing that I'm, you know, focusing on this week is just, um, just making sure Dad has a good week. He is type of person that never like I said asks for anything or he's he's always good with whatever's going on he's always trying to make sure I'm good and I have everything that I need or want because he definitely does a lot of the wants if I just say I want something dad is going to get up and go and get it that's the type of person that he is so I try to um do a little extra on those special occasions for him. I mean, I do as much extra that I can do, you know, as he does for me, but um, he's just, uh, he's very simple. He don't, and you don't have to go all over the, over the top or anything like that. So um, I don't really know what's in my mind right now. Uh, as far as getting him something, I'm just gonna wait till I get to the store and just see what catches my eye and um yeah let's go with that that's pretty much pretty much all i have going on but yeah that's it um we are gonna take a short short mini vacay because he does like going to the um casino 
that's the one place I can get him to go that he enjoyed doing it. And we usually go up to um, Tunica for a couple of days just to get away. And um, something that he didn't like, he enjoyed doing. He ain't no beach person. He ain't no resort person. He don't like going, you know, really making a big, big vacation, you know, a long time. He really wants to do a big vacation is when it's family time with, with, with the kids and the grandkids and all that. So I try to squeeze in those special days and moments with just the two of us whenever I can get a chance to do that. And um, so I'd be excited for his birthday or Father's Day or something like that because that's the times that I know I can, um, you know, kind of talk him into go, at least going to the casino and chilling. And it ain't even about um, spending a whole lot of money when we go to the casino. It's mostly just getting away, spending that really, really quality time together. And I know we are together all the time. But it's different when you get out of the house. It's a different type of quality time together. So that's what um, that's what we're gonna do. Um, probably for a couple of days, you know, just kind of chill. So I'm looking forward to that and gonna um, enjoy every moment of that because, you know, he he when he when he does something that he really enjoyed doing. He just be just 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 smiling from ear to ear. He just be happy if it's something he really like. Now if it's something I want to do, he'll go with me to do it. But he just be like, okay, I'm just here because this is what Mama want to do. So I'm gonna go just to make her happy. So that's what we got going on. Not a whole lot, guys. We're right here at the end of October. Uh, the month is already almost over with. Got, you know, Halloween coming up. The kiddos are excited about Halloween. Um, I don't really know. I'll probably buy a little candy or something for the kiddos to come by. But this, this area that we're at now, there is a little bit more kids in the, in the uh, subdivision. So they really, you know, get into it. So I'll do a little trick-or-treating, you know, set it up. But, it, you know, I usually, last year I actually took took some of the tips from some of the neighbors where they just put all the candy in this big old bucket and just sit it out there at the end of the driveway and just let the kids come by and just grab handfuls. That way you ain't gotta be sitting out there monitoring it. You ain't gotta be bothered. You know, just sit it out there, put your porch light on. And a couple of the neighbors had a little decoration around it and had some of them had it sitting on tables with the orange and, 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 and brown and, you know, with the different little Halloween things, things on there and stuff. I ain't gonna do all that, but I will um, definitely, you know, sit it out there. You know, I might, you know, decorate the bucket or put some some orange uh, paper around it or something like that, so that um, you know the kids will come and get it. I mean, I did it last year, but I just sit it out there. I didn't try to decorate or anything. So that's um, that's almost here. We almost here for Halloween. And uh, once we get through that, and it's like ready for the holidays, you know, everybody, we getting ready and excited about Thanksgiving and Christmas and, you know, getting all that together. I'm probably, well, I haven't really made any plans yet for Thanksgiving, any really big plans or anything like that. And I know usually for Christmas, we just kind of do FaceTime with with the grandkids and the, you know the kids with, with with our son and daughter and their family and just see what they got going on because as the kids has gotten older we don't um <clears throat> get together at any one home you know we everybody stays at their own home so the kids can do what they do and dad and i just you know facetime and and spend our time you know talking to them and watching them as they open their gifts and stuff like that but that's it guys that's pretty much all we got gonna be doing um this is um breast cancer awareness month um you know i try to make sure i talk about that a little bit because it's, it's, it's so important for us as women's and men's to make sure you're doing your annual checkups with your different things with your breast cancer with your prostate with your colon you know all this stuff just doing the, the annual things on a schedule the way you you know the way that we should i mean i know you get your three three months checkup or you get your you know your checkups when you go to the doctor or if you, if you have doctor's appointment that you go through every three months or four months or whatever 
but you know those yearly exams we tend to um, kind of forget about and push them to the back because they're so far off but ladies uh, make sure you're getting your mammograms you're going on a regular basis I think they got the age up now to like 40 once you hit 40 you need to start getting those yearly uh, mammograms done or if you have a history of breast cancer in your family, you may have to do that at an earlier age and on a more regular basis and stuff like that. So just make sure you're following up with those things because, um, you know, most of the time we as women find, we, we, we find it before, before they even show up on your mammograms and stuff because like they were saying, I was saying on the news somewhere, they saying that women's uh, muscles and tissues are uh, sometimes are, not would not let the machine detect um, the cancer, you know, and stuff. So it's best to make sure you do your self exams and and all that. And 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 if you're if you're feeling something and you're not getting the result that you need to get from your doctor, or they seem to think that there is nothing, don't you know? Get second opinions. Just keep pushing it because if you know your body, if you know something is going on with your body, then it usually is something going on with your body. Okay. So make sure you, um, you know, you stay on top of those things and do what you need to do. But, um, yeah, so, you know, anybody out there that's dealing with uh, breast cancer or going through the process of it now, uh, my prayers are with you. I pray that the process is smooth, that you uh, re uh, survive it and become a survivor. And um, just get through it. You know, because your body goes through so much when you're dealing with chemo and radiation and all this stuff. So I just, you know, continue to pray for anyone that's having to deal with anything, any type of, you know, diseases that they're having to deal with and go through the process with. But I definitely, you know, want to shout out to survivors, breast cancer survivors and people that's having to deal with it. I saw somewhere on the news last week that Suzanne Summer passed away. And she had been dealing with breast cancer for years. And they were saying that was the reason for her passing away was breast cancer. But I, I remember years ago hearing about her having to deal with that. So, yeah. So, just make sure. I don't know. I, you know, I'm pretty sure there's a chance that it can come back and all that. So, yeah. Just uh, take care of your body. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I'm uh, about to get ready to hop up out of here go and take care of these things for dad and figure out what i'm gonna do you know get him for his birthday i probably put together a little something something try to put a little um bag together or something maybe some of his special candy that he likes to snack on and you know maybe a hat or two put off in there he loves these big sweatshirts and you know do something really special for us i'm gonna you know put it all together and have it for him once we get ready to um, take this little mini vacay and stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do so. I'm gonna do what I know he likes to do, what he enjoys. Okay. All right, you guys have a great, great day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Don't forget to smile and, and laugh. You know, put some laughter into your life. It will make a world of difference if you look at a situation and laugh at it and just keep it going and don't let it get to you. Okay. Guys, have a great day. Grana, gonna check you out next time around.